All right, here we have some eggs of the airy silk moth. This is about 40 eggs here, and the little holes in them are where the caterpillars came out. Now, when the caterpillars came out, they grew very rapidly, and they grew to really be quite large. So here's a caterpillar munching on the leaf of a castor bean plant. And as you can see, the caterpillar is way, way bigger than the egg that he came out of. Now we put the caterpillars in this hanging cage here. Now you can see one on the leaf. And after a few weeks, the caterpillars get quite active and they transition to this stage. Now this guy down here, he is weaving his silk cocoon. Okay, these are a kind of silk moth and the cocoons that they make are used. You can unravel them and get silk out of them. So he is busy wrapping up himself in a cocoon. And after the cocoons are done, wait, there's another guy here also making a cocoon. Let's get him. There he is. Busy weaving his cocoon. Now after the cocoons are done, we take them out, put a thread in them, and we hang them up in here. Where is it? There we go, let's just open this cage. Like Abby, can you help me open this cage? So here we have a cocoon hanging up, suspended by some twine, and another cocoon up there wrapped up in a leaf. And in a couple of weeks, it should hatch into a beautiful airy silk moth. So that's the uh, full pattern. Eggs, to caterpillar, to cocoons, where hopefully it will soon hatch into a moth. So in a couple of weeks, we're gonna check back in the cocoon and hopefully we should see the adult moth emerging from the cocoon where they will lay eggs and the whole process can begin again.